I see you've caught a vampire bat. The vampire bat bites its victims and sucks their blood. Got it. Speaking of bats... Just save it. Huh? I know you're gonna talk about vampire movies, Attack of the Vampire Donuts, or Dracula vs. the Space Hippos, or something like that. Actually, I was going to say that bats are known to use supersonic waves to sense their surroundings. Oh. Bats use supersonic waves to sense their surroundings, so you might be able to keep them away by blasting them with a special kind of sound wave. Alternatively, you could try equipping a torch and waving it around with the CQC button. As for taste, I suppose there's no reason you couldn't eat them. Hmm. Snake, do you hate vampire movies? What? Just now, you sounded like you really hated them. I did? Yeah. Oh. Well, no one really likes them, do they? Some people do. Like you? Yeah. They're fascinating, you know? Like the movie Dracula... Don't say it. Why not? Just don't. Are you afraid? What? You're afraid of vampires, aren't you? Don't be ridiculous. But... Listen, there are no such things as vampires. They're just a stupid, made-up legend. And if they do seem real sometimes... Well, sure. You think I'd be afraid of something like that? No. Exactly. Right. I'm not afraid of vampires. Uh-huh. It's just that... Whenever somebody starts talking about vampires, I end up dreaming about them that night. And I don't need that right now. That's all. Okay. I see you've caught yourself a Taiwanese cobra. The Taiwanese cobra is native to Taiwan and southern China. It's quite vicious and carries a potent neurotoxin in its fangs. Be careful. Sounds interesting. Don't ask me. Huh? The guide doesn't say. If you absolutely have to know, then you'll just have to try it yourself and see. I didn't say anything. But you were going to ask, weren't you? About the taste? Maybe. I'll talk to you later, Snake. I see you've caught yourself a big eye trevally. The big eye trevally is a type of mackerel. The adult fish lives around coral reefs, but the young can be found in freshwater areas such as estuaries and rivers. Good to know. So, how do they taste? Hmm, the guidebook doesn't say. Huh. Well, if they're a kind of mackerel, they should be okay to eat, right? You'd think so, but... But what? Well, I've heard stories about people getting ciguatera poisoning after eating the adult fish. Ciguatera poisoning? Uh-huh. Fishes that live near coral reefs are sometimes contaminated with a poison known as ciguatera toxin. It apparently gives you food poisoning when you eat it. So I can't eat those big-eyed trevely? I don't know whether those trevely are contaminated with ciguatera or not, but use caution just in case. I see you've caught a Thai Cobra. The Thai Cobra is a large venomous snake that carries an extremely potent neurotoxin. Be careful not to get bitten. The Thai Cobra originally comes from Indochina, Thailand, and Southern China. The ones in that area were probably imported as pets and research subjects before they escaped and turned feral. Not as food? Come again? They weren't imported as food. They're not for eating. So they don't taste good, then? That's not my point. It's not a matter of whether they taste good or not. People don't raise snakes for food, period. Okay. So you're saying they might be good to eat, right? Only one way to find out. I see you've caught yourself a maroon shark. The maroon shark is found mostly in Southeast Asia, but it's not actually a shark. It's related to the carp. It's also known as the red fin cigar shark, the river barb, and the sultan fish. Interesting. So how does it taste? According to the guide, it's good, but it's kind of oily and it has a lot of little bones. Fine with me. I never worry about the little things. So I gathered. I see you've caught a cobalt blue tarantula. The cobalt blue tarantula is a poisonous spider with a highly potent venom. 
there are many different varieties of tarantulas. The cobalt blue is part of a group called earth tigers. They build their nests mainly underground and are highly aggressive. Their diet consists of not only insects, but also mice and even snakes. Interesting. So how do they taste? Are you really going to eat them? Naturally. So? It says here they're not very good. Damn. Don't act so surprised. Isn't it obvious? Why would it be obvious? It's a spider, for goodness sake. A big one, but still a spider, and there's not much to it. Yeah. If only it were as big as the one in Earth versus the Spider. The what? Earth versus the Spider. It's a movie about this gigantic spider. When it's small, it's about 15 feet wide. But when it's big, it's about 35 feet wide. What do you mean, when it's small and when it's big? The size changes from scene to scene. It happens all the time. Huh. I see you found a Russian false mango. The Russian false mango is a mango-like fruit found only in Selinoyarsk. The egg-shaped fruit is sweet and tangy with a pleasing aroma, just like a mango. Also, the seeds can be used to make a medicine that aids in digestion. It might come in handy if you ever have an upset stomach. I see you've caught a coral sn I, I mean, a milk snake. The milk snake closely resembles the coral snake, but it's actually not venomous. Even so, you'll still take damage if it bites you, so don't get too close. Hmm. So is there a way to tell the difference between a milk snake and a coral snake? It's pretty difficult. They really do look almost exactly alike. I guess if I had to pick something, I'd say it's that the milk snake is much less aggressive. Okay. Ah, I just thought of a better way. You're going to love this. What? Eat it. Eat it? Yeah. The guide says milk snakes don't taste very good. Is that right? But if I've already caught and eaten it, what does it matter which kind of snake it was? It doesn't, does it? Shoot, I thought I had a good idea. No. I see you've caught a European rabbit. The European rabbit is said to have come from the Mediterranean region originally, but nowadays they're found all over the world. They've been used since ancient times as a source of food, so it might be worth catching them. Rabbits are known to eat their own excrement. That they eat their own? That's right. It's called cecal feces. When the rabbit eats fiber, the fiber is fermented in the rabbit's appendix, or cecum, and turned into a nutritious substance full of vitamins. The rabbit excretes the substance and then eats it again to absorb the nutrients. That's a neat trick. I think I'll give it a try. Snake, rabbits and humans don't work the- I'm just kidding. You really thought I was going to eat it? A little, yeah. Even I wouldn't do that. I guess not. But how did those single feces taste? What? I'm just kidding. Oh, 